Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Lost in Tokyo. So my question for today is, how busy does Tokyo's number one tourist uh, area, Asakusa, get on a weekday morning at 10 a.m.? Should you come here early in the afternoon or a little bit later? Let's find out today. So we are back into one of my favorite areas again today. Um, I'm going to be taking you on a different bit of a path here, showing you something pretty cool and of course we're always showing you different things uh, giving you the best street views that we can uh, let me bring up the replay here uh, real quickly here so i can say hi to everybody and uh we'll get into it right away ladies and gentlemen sorry give me one sec <laughs> um <clears throat> we are here at Tawaramachi uh station which is on the uh, ginza line and uh it is one of my my starting points because Going, it's one stop before Asakusa. Going all the way into Asakusa, can, the train can get busy, it can get congested, and this is kind of like the back way anyways. So just uh, let me get in here and uh, say good morning to y'all. Uh, I really appreciate you being here, of course, and I got some big news, of course, and of course, and of course, and the beautiness, and so on and so forth. And smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Please smash that like button. Uh, I am like number 16. Oh, cool. My mom's birthday. Uh, so, yeah, good morning, too. I'm in the sun, so maybe I should move into the shade just a little bit here as I'm, as I'm walking. Um, oh, there we go. A little bit better here. Uh, so, Jeremy, good morning. Cousin Vinny, good morning. Gabe, good morning. Ramsey Silent, good morning. Jason M., good morning. Mr. Stu, good morning. Uh, Jovis Angel, Mike Hawk. You're not first, Mike. How come? Uh, good morning. Dave Jeffrey, good morning. Uh, Tex Machina, good morning. Tetrazeum and Cool Roddy, good morning. Uh, hey, Mindy's mom, my sister, and my mom is here. But thank you both for being here. Appreciate it as always. Family, community. Um, Nancy Forsley, good morning. Lynn, how are you? Ar Ario, good morning. Thank you for your messages also. Sandra C, pineapple belongs on pizza as always. Uh, Spider Fresh is out of Lakers game. I can't believe it, but I'm still going to a vending machine. Laurie and R, Nick R, how are you? Uh, Michael Selby, good morning. Cobra, my evil twin. Pink Pip Boy Stanley, good morning. I got your messages. Add you online, so we're set. Janet, how are you? Thank you for being here. And I think I got everybody. Oh, Kosama7, good morning. How are you? Um, so, yeah, we are. I'm going to be walking a little bit here. Um, as you can see, I'm clean shaven, uh, but I haven't shaved. It just fell out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but I'm going to step off to the side here. Uh, today we're going to be walking around uh, about the outside of Asakusa. Then we're going to be hitting the uh, inside area um, to see how busy does this area get and when is a good time to show up. Stores don't open till 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. And well, is it good to get here early or get to you know fight the the, the, the crowds? Uh, let's find out and away we go. I'm just going to turn the camera around here. Uh, a little map of the area here. Uh, the main Asakusa area that you're going to be visiting is all in here. And today we are at Tawaramachi. Asakusa Station is up in this area here. So we're going to be kind of walking down this area first and coming in the back way here. Um, it's already busy on the back streets here, which is kind of interesting. My replay is not working very well, and I don't know why, but all right. Now along here, of course, uh, you'll see a lot of foreigners uh, getting their, their morning breakfast because you have Detour over there. Um, but you have the Yamazaki Bakery where I can see a lot of tourists. This is actually, you know, outside of Asakusa, a cheap and decent store for omiyage if you want to get some, uh, you know, some like paper fans to take home for uh, some presents or some socks or some little kitty bags. Uh, kitty, where's the, where is the... Puppy bags. Mm. But yeah, that's uh, kind of what we're, we're looking at today. Oh, I never, oh yeah, I, I remember this. It has a samurai thing here. But we're gonna walk along the outside here. Uh, a big shout out, I need a vending machine. I need a coffee, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, cool, Roddy, thank you so much. Get yourself a drink and we just hit, we just hit the vending machine. So let me, uh, into the back alley. Onto a ledge you go as I turn the camera around. And uh, cool, Roddy, thank you for my first super chat of the day. I appreciate it. Um, 
Thank you. All right, I'm going to uh, try and get um, a hot drink, probably coffee, because we need hot to coffee. Pull out all the change that I have here. And uh, yeah, we'll just get a hot a black coffee here. 130 yen. I am a little, my mouth is a little bit parched. Oh. Six, 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 seven. Ah, I didn't win. Damn. But uh, yeah, thank you guys all for being here. Uh, just real quickly, uh, Leonie, how are you? Uh, if I don't say hi to you, please at Tokyo Drew. Hey, Babs. Um, so that uh, I can see your message. But I want to say th right off the start, right away, right away. A big shout out to Oriental Pearl, um, Alyssa, for... Uh, adding me into her video and uh, promoting, uh, you know, my channel and my, my cause, uh, the fundraiser, the fight for uh, lung cancer. Um, a lot of people, over 1,300 people have subscribed to this channel in the last 12 hours. Uh, I, I want to cry. Uh, I never thought I would get to 10,000 subscribers. So uh, that's the, the big hurdle there. And a lot of her, um, her community actually went over to DonorBox and um, you know, help, commun um, help donate uh, and help raise funds for this fundraiser that I've been doing and fighting with. Uh, if you do go over, um, you can check out my update. Uh, I posted the video yesterday, even though it was from a few days ago, um, and I showed you exactly all the bills and uh, how much was raised and you know, so on and so forth. So I'm be as transparent as I can be uh, with that. So um, I just want you guys to know that uh, yeah, it is there, and uh, yeah, just uh, so you, you kind of can see here, uh, donor box does look like this, and of course, uh, we do have links in the, in the below, and the Nightbot moderators will post the links. Uh, thank you to everybody helping me. Uh, it's, it's really a long road, and I'm waiting for a phone call today um, to see if my room is available. I will be going, hopefully, going back into the hospital tomorrow uh, for hopefully just a week, um, on starting my second round of chemo. Ah, oh, it sucks. I, I, gotta, I gotta agree with somebody else in the chat, one of my moderators who lives in the Washington State area. Uh, chemo sucks. It does. It makes you tired and yeah, it is what it is. So thank you guys that are helping me out. Really appreciate it. And that is enough of that. Um, Omedetto on exceeding 10k brother thank you hi Liz I just subscribed please get better thank you Liz and welcome to our community we are a bunch of misfits here I think that a lot of people that came over from Oriental Pearl's channel might not I don't know if they watch live streams um, but yeah we keep it as real as possible here um, no nothing scripted and I'm just a few muffins short of a basket bricks full of a wall. I have no freaking idea what I'm saying, but half the time uh, we have lovely moderators here. They're very welcoming. So boom. Uh, our emoji club, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I just saw Jason M post a message here. We have fallen down a bit, but uh, if you don't, if you want to uh, click below this video, the channel uh, membership, it, we call it the emoji club. Uh, that all goes to cancer uh, research. So cheers for you for that. Let's get going. I'm going to stop bothering and, oh yeah. See? I don't have to shave. <laughs> All right. If I haven't said hi to you, I do apologize. I think I saw Robert here. Good morning. So thank you, Cool Roddy, for the uh, coffee. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's get going, guys. And uh, have some time. Ooh, it's a bus. So as you come out from Tawaramachi Station, which is... Uh, You'll come out of the subway just over there. I don't know why my camera is doing this. You'll pass by the Dutour. There's a great little place that they just uh, came up, made with. Oh, I gotta straighten my camera out here. Kosama, Kansama7 just gifted five memberships. Well, thank you, appreciate that. Mr. Stu, how are you, by the way? Kyle, good morning, one of our newest Patreon members, thank you. Oh, wait, maybe they're not here. Shari Lin. I can just see uh, people being donated. So this here again is uh, Origin Delica. It's a, like a bento box kind of area. And uh, it's actually a decent place to, and if you don't want to go to restaurants, you want to get something to eat real quickly, get Yoshinoya, 
but there's something coming up here that I think a few of you will like. And it just opened up recently, so it's pretty cool. I don't know why my camera's not level. It's pissing me off here. There we go. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for being here. We're not gonna be doing a three hour live stream today. I do have an appointment. There's one of those guys to pass by me. Starshine, how are you? And uh, yeah, we have um, Starshine helped me uh, with this uh, link tree thing. So all my links are posted in one uh, link now. And uh, you can check out all my Instagram to Facebook to uh, the, the donor box to PayPal to uh, Patreon to everything. All my links are in one spot now, so it makes it a bit easier. Mr. Donut, as you're walking by, yeah, Mr. Donut. I never have liked these donuts. Not, not, don't even know why. Taha, good morning. But this is uh, the recent thing going on right now. All the, eh, I don't think I would have, I don't like green tea, anything. <laughs> Our lottery shop, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to check. It is Wednesday, so... I'm just wondering, do I have any lottery tickets to check? And I do, so let's get some, let's do the lottery right away, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna come in here. And I'm gonna put this down. Right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know the rule, you know the, the routine. Uh, we're gonna do some seven numbers ones, so get your numbers going, ladies and gentlemen. I'll pick the first seven numbers, of course. Sorry, I wasn't even in the chat. Jovis Angel, good morning. All right, I'll try my best here. Feng, 28. Vin, 13. Jason, M, 5. Gabe, 7. 17, Nancy Forsley. Uh, Tetrazine, 15. 2, 4, 6, one more. 14 Cobra. Oh, I don't like those numbers. Um, okay, Leone, 28. Did she say 28 already? Or someone said 28 already. So 32 from Nick R. Our lottery pot is up to 1 billion. Wow, I hope you win. 27 from Lord Lennar. Sandra C is 8. Um, Robert Schrader, 14. Again, 14. Hey Peggy M, good morning. Mindy's mom, 12. Um, Holly Hummel, 28. Starshawn, 23. Two, four, six. One more. I'll do, I'm going to do number 18 from mom. And uh, last ticket here will be, um, I'm trying to get other, other, why is everybody picking 28? Lewis Cabo here? Oh, is it, if Lewis Cabo is here, hi, how are you brother? Hope you're doing well. Hey, Luann, how are you? Three from uh, Mike Hawk and Luann, of course. Starshine, 33. Ramsey Silent, 13. Oh, all the threes. Holly Hummel, 14. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm done. All right, I'm going to... Uh, um, Great, this lady's got like a billion tickets to check now. Three, six, nine. Well, let's just go two quick picks. And see how that goes. All right, so I'm gonna change the camera over here. Ah. Nothing like getting a lottery on uh, a Wednesday morning. Sorry, I'm not keeping up with the uh, chat here. Uh, Ali, good morning, thank you for being here. IB Rebecca, how are you? Make sure you smash that like button, guys. Let's get to 100 likes real quick. But I do have tickets from last week I'm gonna check. And uh, some of your numbers on the slip here today. Foreigners allowed to play the lottery. I, yeah, I'm a foreigner. I'm playing. 
tomorrow today. Good morning. It's all, I believe, controlled by Mizuho Bank. Uh, thank you, Liz. Appreciate it. She won $48. <laughs> Lewis, thank you. Appreciate it, brother. Everybody smacked those hearts. Just got back from Thailand. How is your treatment going? Uh, pretty good, Lewis. I'm going uh, back into the hospital hopefully tomorrow for round two of chemo. All right. We didn't move in on those tickets, by the way. All right. There's your numbers right there. All right. Hi, hey, arigatou gozaimasu. All right, that cost uh, 15 bucks for those tickets, so let's hope we win. All right. So, uh, yeah, uh, just as, as you know, as a foreigner, you can join the lottery. Um, I don't know about if you win big prizes, you know, if you're just a visitor um, or, uh, you know, as a permanent resident like I am. Uh, gifted one membership. I guess we hit 50 likes. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, but, yeah, thank you uh, guys all for joining me. And if I haven't said hi to you, I will try to say hi to you as I recognize you in the chat. Um, I saw Bisma, I'm not going to pronounce your last name, but tower in the background is beautiful. Yeah, we're going to, you know, I'm going to show you that right now, actually. Um, so let me to my element here. And uh, yeah, this is the view as you're coming down this main street here. Um, you know, Sky Tree is literally right there. A lot of people come into this uh, streetway just to take the picture uh, of that. And you'll see on my Instagram, I've done the exact same thing also. So it is pretty cool. Hi, Lynn Sanger. How are you, by the way? All right, so as we were walking, um, the reason I'm bringing you down here is for one thing and one thing only. It's the Family Mart. No, ladies and gentlemen, this here is the Tokyo Samurai Ninja Museum. Uh, right here, just recently opened. Um, they do not want you filming uh, inside. You can take pictures. And the funny thing is, what's not funny, but I've never seen Japanese go inside. Of course, it's all tourists. So this might be a good tourist attraction. Um, I'm gonna zoom into the QR code there for you guys. Hopefully that works. Hopefully. If you can uh, pause, check the QR code out, and uh, you get all the information uh, that you could uh, use for that. Yeah, you know what, Lynn, it, it is a beautiful day here, and it was uh, horrible the last week or so, so I am happy that things are uh, going along. So <clears throat> Now, the main part of Asakusa, of course, is all inside here, as we know, but today we are kind of uh, on the outside here, and then we'll hit the, coming through the back ways here. Love the Mikoshi. Got a big Mikoshi, a small little Mikoshi. And of course, this is, uh, as you can see here, the information opens up at 10, some opens up at 11. You got the drum museum inside. It is pretty cool. I don't even know if you're allowed uh, cameras uh, inside or not. Daruma inside. And then the other big uh, attraction on this road here, as we are walking, is this uh, pancake place. Now everybody, they sell out real fast. Um, they do have waffles, they have all kinds of uh, different things here. And uh, it does open up real quickly. Oh, thank you, uh, Mobic. Um, thank you so much, I appreciate it. I've been subscribed to uh, Oriental Pro uh, <laughs> and Ming for a long time. And I'm glad she mentioned you as I was able to donate you. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Keep doing an amazing job and stay strong. Well, I appreciate that, uh, Mobic, and uh, yes, I am, uh, let me turn the camera. 
I'm doing my best. I really am. For the situation I have, I always I have a favorite saying and I always say, suck it up. And that's what I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen. Dealing with this cancer, dealing with the treatments, dealing with everything that's being thrown at me. I'm freaking Superman, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So yeah, it's, uh, you, this is, it might be a pancake place that uh, you want might want to come and check out. And right beside it is actually a uh, noodle shop, which I went here with Tokyo Lens uh, and Victor and a couple other people years upon years ago. Always a great place. Kapabashi would be straight down at the end of this street here, the kitchen alleyway. So Kapabashi is within walking distance also. You have a few hotels. You got the Rocks department store over here, which we'll uh, be walking by later on. But we are just uh, basically on the outside here. Now I do have the sunshine into my uh, into my second phone, so it's hard to read comments. But uh, if you're at Tokyo Drew, I can see everything, and I would appreciate uh, saying hi to you if I haven't. A little um, mochi kind of dango kind of place. <laughs> my favorite karage shop just down over here um, well one of them anyways oh tourist group <laughs> I don't know how many people they have but oh shit they actually have a lot all Europeans now Sere Kebab Cafe um, actually one of the better places here in Asakusa you can uh, get a pretty damn good uh, menu here uh, from the donairs or you know whatever you want to call them uh, to the salads to the set meals i actually recommend this place uh, and you know me i don't like kebabs that much but i've always always enjoyed this place and it's just right on the outskirts of asakusa and just as i was talking here ladies and gentlemen uh, we are we started up again over here and we've only come walking down this main street here you can see the yellow line here that is kapabashi dori uh, the kitchen street alleyway uh, that you can find on my videos and stuff like that. So there you go. Just without a cape. Oh, with Superman without a cape. I'm just reading your comments, trying to anyways. Say it. Love that picture phone. <laughs> really, Mindy's mom. Picture phone. Don't, don't, don't fall into the trap of Cobra. <laughs> I, almost, I mean, local grocery store. Oh, sweet potato. Look at that. Look at that sweet potato being roasted right there. I love these things. That's your street, mom. Yeah, I love Kapabashi. It is actually a great uh, thing. And if you haven't seen my video on it, uh, by all means, check it out. You just showed the Lawson and I always being curious, is there any mom and pops? Give me one sec here. Uh, or everything single is a big, large company. No, there are a lot of uh, mom and uh, uh, pop stores. It's just, it, being in a tourist area, you're, you're going to see the conglomerate 7-Eleven, Family Mart, uh, and Lawson. So hopefully that answers your question. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. And as you can see, uh, if you're part of the Emoji Club, we do give you uh, stars for Super Chats. But we had so much fun with that phone in Vegas. <laughs> uh, all right. I thought that said Porn Bunny, but it's a Pon Pon Bunny. It's still a girl's bar. And as you uh, will get around here, you will see a lot of uh, different places, local places, local Chinese places along the uh, street here. And I don't usually come down this way, so... Uh, this is kind of new to me to show you guys these street views. We almost got 100 people in the chat. That is awesome. Thank you, guys. Again, you're going to pass by all these. Like This is a Kobe. Asakusa Kokusaidori. It's a Kobe beef. Tepon and steak. Like, seriously. Okay. Okay, some of the prices might be a little bit... But Kobe beef sashimi? Kobe beef sushi? Yum! Steak on the rice? <laughs> I like how they say steak on the rice. Kobe beef steak? This might actually be a great place to uh, come check out. And then now, boom, back alleys. I've never been down here, so we've got to check this out. 
and I'm out of the sunshine. Not starshine, sunshine. Omote no kura. You never know what you're going to find in all these back alleyways, and that's why we always check out and explore different things. It, just, it looks like only a few businesses along here, something going on down here. Actually, I like that sign up there. That's pretty cool. Hey, Robert, how are you? Could you imagine this being the entrance to your apartment building? No thanks, in the back alley? Yuck. Oh, we got 107 people watching. Thank you, guys. Let's get to 100 likes. So I'm going to walk down a couple more blocks and then we're going to come into the back way of Asakusa, where we've always been. But um, the reason I'm delaying walking down this way is, number one, I want to show you some of the outskirt, outside uh, area things. Like they got the, the matcha cafe and bar here. It's only a little sign here. Okay. Oh, sorry. They actually do have more there. I thought it'd be like a very hard business to find, but sometimes, you know, here in Tokyo, businesses are really hard to find. Just so you guys know, we will be walking, but Don Quixote inside of Asakusa is right there. That cheap bento box is just on this side of the street. Everybody's lined up already. Mote no Kura in front of the way, yeah. <laughs> Mobik, where are you from? You seem to know some good uh, Japanese there. If, I, if I'd say young man or young lady, I'm not sure. So again, you can see everybody is lined up here. Look at the yumminess. Ladies and gentlemen, the yumminess is right here. This is what they're waiting for. They don't open. Oh, sorry guys, I didn't realize my wife was calling me. I think I have a feeling she's gonna send me a message saying that we got approved for the hospital tomorrow. Are we still live? Yeah, I just got the message. Sorry guys about that. Hang in there. So I just want to check to make sure that uh, we are still live, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, you're still live, son. Okay, thank you. Uh, Hiromi was trying to call me. And uh, yeah, I got approved. Ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, during this live stream, just got a, a phone call that I will be entering the hospital tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we're back at it again for uh, round two. Ah, it's going to be freaking torture, man. 1800 calorie meals, horrible hospital food. Can't leave the premise for a week. I really enjoyed being out in the fresh air. Mm. Anyways. Okay. We are back. Let's go. Shrine right here. I'm going to come in the sideway here. No. Again, simple little shrines. And this is a very simple one because it's got like the storage area. It's got the, uh, the main shrine part with the fox and then just the, uh, the gate itself. No, no even dragon purification places. Ugh. Round two, you can, thank you, Sandra. See, I appreciate that. We got Hotel B Asakusa off to my left here. Uh, again, another uh, place that you might uh, find uh, reasonable, reasonably priced. Not sure, but see that? I buffered and I lost 25 people. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Gabe says, I liked your link icon of Link. I'm a huge Zelda fan. Oh, cool. Anything you're going to bring to the hospital that you wish you had brought from the last visit? Yeah, good food. Hey, Motonome, how are you? Thank you for being here. I know how difficult some health 
problems can be. I, I had so many devastating addiction problems in my past. I'm so happy to see you keeping your spirits up and doing what you enjoy. Thank you. Um, yeah, guys, honestly, I, I'm me. I'm stubborn as hell, as you all know, for, you know, all the community people. Um, but I, I do what I do, right? And I'm as transparent and, as, and honest as I can be. And uh, I hope you appreciate that. Um, and I like live streaming. I like being engaging with the community. And that's what this channel is all about. Can you freaking believe we hit 10,300 subscribers? Oh my God, I can't believe it. It's, it just amazes me. <coughs> all, and because of Oriental Pearl, you know, all the credit goes to her. You know, a big channel like that, I'm, I'm never looking, you know, to collab with people to uh, get subscribers, but this feeling is pretty cool. So I'm gonna have to start collabing with more people, I think. And I've always said, I don't, li I don't like collabing much. But it is for a good cause, obviously. But again, thank you, Alyssa, if you're watching or you see the replay, uh, I'm truly indebted to you. And uh, yeah, guys, we're gonna invite Alyssa and Tommy over to the house, uh, probably after round two. Hopefully she has the time. And uh, we're gonna, Hiromi and I have decided we're gonna cook an amazing meal for them. In, to show our appreciation and our, and our thank you and gratitude and <sighs> okay, bye. Wow, Mobik, you're like on a hot streak here. That's a, that's a hat trick, dude. I'm uh, just going to sit down for one second here. Uh, I, need, I do need to rest. Um, sorry. So it says here, a 35-year-old man from Buenos Aires, Argentina, exactly 12 hours behind. I've been studying Japanese nonstop for two years and three. Oh, okay. Um... Uh, I hope you do well. Um, I'm old. I gotta lift my glasses up when I read. Um, I've been here 17 years in Japan. I never took the time to uh, thank you, sis. That's wonderful, brother. Um, to study Japanese. That's my detriment. It's one thing that I'm embarrassed about in life, and but I'm I'm easily able to admit it. I do speak a little bit of Japanese um, to get me by, but yeah. Um, Studying, like, I, Alyssa has kind of given me the, I want to study Japanese now, but, you know, maybe being off work, I've been reading books, but, yeah, I still don't get the whole, mm, it doesn't sink into my brain. Like I said, I'm a potato short of a bushel or a basket, or, I have no idea what I'm trying to say, but, yeah. My wife keeps messaging me, it's driving me nuts. So let's continue on here, guys. What time's dinner? I knew Motonome was gonna say that. I knew it. Motonome thinks he's uh, special. Hey, Walking Moments, how are you? Remember, at Tokyo Drew, so I can see your comments if they're directed to me. Otherwise, I just kind of go over everything. Biru Kudasai, Strong Zero Kudasai. <laughs> Actually, guys, um, I have a picture for you. I'm gonna load up. Uh, number one, I wanna say thank you to uh, Jim and Harry at the Costas. Uh, they sent me uh, one of the uh, teachers. He got the uh, Fuck Cancer t-shirt. I love it. Um, they are big supporters of this channel and uh, they sent me another picture. Um, and again, you can order uh, if you want to help support me. Um, you know, if you don't want to help support me with your donor box, hey, that's great. Uh, if you want to help support me with t-shirts, I make a little bit of money, uh, obviously going to all the cause and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is, and you know, if, if you send me your picture, I will share it uh, on the live stream if I can get rid of it. But this is something interesting here. I'm just waiting for the light here. Can you believe? So Keza down in Australia, <coughs> they went to a restaurant. And can, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see where it says strong zero, 9%, 350 mil, 1750 Australian dollars. And the 500 mil is $22. Isn't that crazy? Absolutely insane for a chew high. What I can get here for two bucks. Absolutely insane. So I won't answer that motor no. I got a mug, forgot to take a picture. I'll have to find an interesting way to present it. Yeah, just put it in your husband's face. I don't know. All right, so we're going to duck in uh, side here. Happiness to life. Good morning. Looky Lou, good morning. And we're going to come in the back way here as we zigzag through uh, the streets. 
And I want to hit this uh, old, the older Shoten guy. I wanted to see if I could go down that way, and I can. Oh yeah, by the way, this is Hotel Tavinos. Kind of a, a weird hotel because, you know, nice looking hotel, but the entrance is actually on the back street over here. Might be a little bit hard to find, but a lot of foreigners like to stay there. Hey, DeConnor, how are you? Are you guys back home yet? Thank you, uh, Happiness to Life, I appreciate that. So we are hitting the back streets. We're gonna hit it the Shoten guy in a minute. Again, Don Quixote is back up that way. And you always have amazing hidden little uh, restaurants. And that's actually um, hotel something where the moon is. Like a hotel off the side street here. L Studio. Just drew it. F cancer. Absolutely, Jeremy. Snack Utaka. See, it's these little places that, you know, the locals come to and you really want to hang out with the locals. Come to these. Find these places. Like Hibiki. Oh, wow. I love this sign. Of course, you all know Hibiki whiskey is my favorite whiskey of all time. But if she's the bartender, I'm definitely coming. How gorgeous is that? A gor gorgeous, it's, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And the girl too, but I'm talking the bottle. <laughs> yeah, my mind is weird. Hmm. Yes, puppy. I, yeah, I can't believe it. Uh, the prices, Leone, is amazingly stupid. Nice marketing. <laughs> Tokyo Drew, Tokyo Lens was live this morning too. Maybe you run into him. Um, I woke up late, so I didn't uh, get to see his uh, live stream at all, actually. I love Norm. I haven't seen Norm in a couple of years now. Uh, we used to get together, uh, like I say, on Sanja Matsuri uh, in May. Uh, but, you know, he's a big YouTuber now, so... Um, you know, it'd be nice if he'd uh, get in contact with me. <coughs> had, our schedules don't really match, but um, it is what it is. Robert Schrader, how are you? Um, Norm is a great guy. Love what he does. It's going to hit a million subscribers. Absolutely cool. I met When I first met Norm, he was at 22,000 subscribers, not really doing much about it. And yeah, boom, he was awesome. Hey, I drove to San Jose, safe travels, buddy. Norm, well, yeah, he, he's a full-time YouTuber, so he can wake up early and afford to it. So, in the back streets here of Asakusa, an amazing, I'm not gonna call it, a, it is a shopping street, amazing, a uh, little covered old area here. And once you, if you are in that area, then you'll come into uh, this area, which we've taken you to before, of course. I absolutely love walking down here. Hey, Marin, how are you? Just had a PRP injection in my knee, damn. So this here is actually one of the older uh, shopping areas. And how could you not want to come visit when you can come to the Groin Groin? There's something sick and twisted about that name. I'm just not gonna go there. Yeah, absolutely, um, Knight Rider's gal, mom. Um, you know, people super chat me, people donate, you know, so on and so forth, but it's, it's everything. It's not just the monetary things. It's, it's honestly, it's, uh, it's, it's the, the kind messages, even if I don't reply back to you, which I'm pretty bad at. Um, people, just knowing people are there to, to cheer me on, it, 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 it truly is a blessing. And of course the money helps. Why would I even lie about that, right? But. It's the, hey Drew, how are you? Hey Drew, uh, hope you're doing well. You know, I, I, like I said, I might not uh, reply back to you right away or if at all, but I do appreciate it, so thank you. Look at these old style stores here. That's what I like walking down here. 
Uh, they do have some newer stores, of course, but they also have some older stores. And uh, you can see, basically see, ladies and gentlemen, the foreigners, the tourists, they're all coming down here from different places, different other side streets, into the main area, which we're going to be checking out and see how busy it really is. Because I'm waiting till 11 o'clock. But you can see the, uh, how things are right now. Not very busy. Even the old dollar store just opened up. And I call it old because it's not a Daiso. All the different shopping. That's like a grandma, grandpa store. Hotel Coromo, that's the name I was trying to say when I was pointing down the side street earlier. Yeah, you can hear music. Uh, they do have outdoor music playing. Um, you'll see cameras up here. You'll see little speakers. Uh, it creates a good uh, ambiance. Is that the word? Atmosphere, ambiance, uh, as you're walking down here. I even think that's a Wi-Fi router up there or something. Oh, interesting anyways, right? <coughs> Don't need my haircut. <clears throat> now, coffee shop Layla, this is where I'm going to be bringing Ramsey Silent and anybody else who's a coffee lover one day. <clears throat> Old school coffee shop. These are the, you know, the Gigi's and the Babas, they come in uh, ambianceness, absolutely. Look at that, look at the sandwiches, the, the curry rice, morning toast, $7, that includes a little bit of a salad and a coffee, morning hot dog. So they do have, you know, come some quick breakfast, 700 yen and under. Or I should just get a wig. What do you think, guys? Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm not getting a wig. Again, lots of uh, souvenir stores i think the, the the bright pink would be pretty cool though i still say you should go into a barber shop sit down and see and just see what they do yeah free coffee i'm in you're in for anything free moto gnome oh this here is the uh the tequila and modern ethnic the tequila baby but i actually love the look of that I see Moto Gnome, Ramsey Silent, Jason M. Ah, okay, I could go on, but I won't. People are getting their, uh, their ramen on so early in the morning. And lots of... Um, lots of things to see and do. So let's head over to Nakamise Dori. I don't have much time, so uh, <coughs> we will take you for a walk around here though but this is part of the oldest of course amusement park I was just here like what a month ago or a month and a half ago so um, this is the capsule capsule toy store opens up at 10 as we uh, come in here you can kind of see they, they have a back room back there also but again if you're into, into gashapon and stuff like that you could actually come and uh, visit here in Asakusa. But if you do want to go to the world's largest um, gashapon or capsule toy store, it is in Ikebukuro. I do have a video also uh, on that. It's absolutely insane with over 3,000 machines. You can see after you leave the park, they actually have you walk into the uh, capsule thing. So, hey, Tim the dude, how are you? And we're just going to walk uh, along here for a minute. Oh. oh, she's gorgeous. Hello, Mom. Again, more side streets going down in and around that area there. A um, lot of businesses every which way you see. And here, the foreigners are here, ladies and gentlemen. They're all over the place. So it's nice to see. This is only at what, 10.50 in the morning. 
So coming here, like my question at the beginning was, what time is a good time to come to Asakusa? Everybody comes out, especially on a nice day like this, everybody's going to be out here at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning, um, all the way up until like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It, this is not busy. Wait till we get over to Nakamise Dori area. It's absolutely going to be insane. See you, Feng. Bunch of girls in kimonos. You can dress up in kimonos if you want. My favorite uh, covered Shoten guy is over there, but every time I go in, it's just not the greatest. Now, of course, they do have Dom Dom. Uh, this is the famous uh, burger shop or whatever you want to call it. And this is what they're famous for, is the soft shell crab burger. How many of you would eat that, ladies and gentlemen? I know I won't. I just, yeah, for some reason it just turns me off. Good night, uh, happiness. Thank you for being here, appreciate it. Everybody's lined up for the amusement park. Look at this, absolutely insanely full. To go into this little amusement park. Wow, the lineup goes all the way down. That's insane. There's like 250 people here. I've never seen a lineup here. So into the back way here, um, this is new, the Matcha Cafe. Uh, just opened up, uh, I'd probably say about, I think it was in August of last year. No, there's, a couple, there's a couple things up that way I could show you, but I'm not going to. <laughs> 100 likes, awesome guys, thank you so much, appreciate it. <clears throat> Today we're just on the hunt to see how busy Asakusa is on a Wednesday morning. Wednesday, not Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday. This is my favorite Shoten guy here. How cool is that, guys, really? It's, I, lo I love the, um, the banners here. I love just the look of everything. And again, the lineup for the melon pan store right away. I'll just show you the inside here. Lots of pigeons, by the way. They're all lined up, all lined up for the melon pan. And that is busy inside. Whoa, I'm glad I didn't go in here. That's how busy it is inside there already. Hey, Stinkmeister, how are you? Or... Sane? Thank you, Ram, appreciate it. Hey, Craig Hepburn, how are you? Absolutely insane. I love melon pan, but it spikes my sugar, obviously. Now, on the weekends, this is where all the uh, food stalls are. Obviously, it's empty today. I swear to God, if I had a food stall, I would probably be setting it up every day. I don't know what the permit uh, rules are or not. <clears throat> but that's pretty freaking crazy. All the people that are here already, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Peggy, how are you? Aww. Absolutely insane. Love it. I love how people are here enjoying Tokyo, enjoying everything. I've never seen it this busy in a long time. It's so nice to be able to see how oh, some ladies are dressed up in kimonos here. Uh, you can dress up in kimonos. I wish I had a link to uh, one of the better stores, uh, but it can get fun. Uh, you know, be a part of the Japanese culture, be a part of Japan. It's pretty damn cool, guys. You're enjoying natto, ew. Yeah, food style would be cool. Drew, you need to rest a bit more often. Uh, Peggy, thank you. Um, I do rest, but you are right. I don't rest enough, probably. You have a lot of uh, little shrines on the, on the inside here. You got the Buddha, you got Sensoji Temple, which is right here, of course. The five uh, story pagoda. 
And it's just nice. Look at all the foreigners. Look at everybody. This is only 11 o'clock. Can you imagine when everybody else gets here even later? I'm going to have to be like Tokyo Lens and come out here at 5 a.m. Just to hit the back streets like he does. Absolutely insane, guys. So, yeah, I will say one thing that... You know, if you want to get a jump on things, get here as early as you can. You know, certain things are not open, of course, but at the same time, sorry guys, I got to put my mask on because I'm in front of a lot of people now. Give me one sec here. All right, there we go. Sorry guys, but I wear a mask when I'm in people, crowds of people anyways. This is insane. I'm just going to hang out here for a minute, just to give you the, uh, the idea of what it's like, you know. A lot of non-religious people are even uh, coming out to visit the shrine. Oops, sorry. How am I coping with diabetes? I'm coping. Thank you, sis. I know you're a mask promoter, Mindy's mom. <laughs> I wear it half the time, and most of the time when I'm in crowds, I, uh, I try to wear my mask because I don't want to get sick. Please don't apologize. Oh, okay, crazy, I'm not a fan of crowds. I don't blame you, IB Rebecca. If you live in Japan, this is what you should expect visiting, or even visiting Tokyo, but um, sometimes I get perplexed on how many people are actually here visiting. This is absolutely crazy right now. The incense is going on. Absolutely insane. A lot of I see a lot of tours. You got the, uh, the, pur the water purification over there. Give me a thumbs up if I, should, if I should go and do my fortune again. I haven't had a good fortune recently, so could use that. Look at all the foreigners, wow. From all kinds of different uh, walks of life, different countries, of course, different cultures. Yeah. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. I can't even walk up the middle. Some people are saying, "Go!" oh, thank you, mom. Appreciate it. I didn't even see that. Oh, mom gifted memberships. Thank you, mom. Appreciate it. New for life. Hello. I'm just... Remember, if you want to say hi to me, uh, at Tokyo Drew, please. What's your favorite food that doesn't spike your sugar? Ah, that's a good question. I can't answer you. Sorry. I wish I could. A lot of uh, good wearing a mask did for me in Hawaii, right? Yeah, I know, right? You missed never had a 10 gifted subs for 100 with mine. Thank you. Just remember how weird it is not to have them there, though. That is true. Katapa, how are you? Good morning. Are you incensed about the crowds? No, not really. Uh, everyone came out on Wednesday. think it would be quiet. Probably. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, see if I can get my fortune, but there's so many people. I don't, I'm, maybe not today. It's just absolutely insane. Again, what an amazing view. It's nice to see a bunch of people that are... Uh, dressing up in kimonos, taking pictures. I'm taking... I'm going the opposite way. Everybody's got their phones out, their cameras out. Mr. Smokehouse, how are you? Sorry, just had a phone call. Hopefully we're back again. Let's uh, go this way for one second. I'm uh, <coughs> back to being live again, so I just got a phone call. So just give me a second as I watch people dropping out of the stream.
Sorry about that. Let me know if we are live again with my thumbs up. All right, I think we're okay. So uh, yeah, I'm just uh, showing you guys basically how busy this freaking place is. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Remember, if you want to help support me, uh, you can uh, check out my donor box, super chat, super stickers, PayPal, or just say, "Hey, Drew, Gambate, you can do it." Oh my God, this is absolutely insane. Where the hell did everybody come from? It's a Wednesday morning. This looks like a, like a massive tourist group area here. Looks like there's a lot of tour groups here. Mind you, a lot of people do book to come to Tokyo because of Sakura, so that could also be another reason. Um, I'm trying to walk through the crowds here, ladies and gentlemen. So just so you get an idea of what it's like, you know, coming to visit um, Tokyo's number one tourist area. It's absolutely insane. So yeah, you know, there everybody books their things to come and see the Sakura, but uh, the Sakura is not blooming uh, probably until next week. And now we are in Nakamise Dori. Um, the tourist grab, the tourist trap of shopping. But this place here, Manju, I can't eat it anymore. I can smell it for sure. So many different kinds from green tea, pumpkin, sakura, curry, standard, chocolate, custard. Yum. But what an amazing, amazing view here we have. You are swimming upstream, Drew. Yeah, and I did this on purpose going against the grain. You can see all these poles, these are all tourist. I've seen probably at least 10 to 15 tourist groups already. Hey Grover, how are you? Is this insane guys? This is what I wanted to show you. It's 11 o'clock in the morning now. And there's this many people, you know, checking out all the souvenir shops, you know, and getting some snacks and uh, doing what they got to do here. It's not insane. I got to tilt my phone a different way just to see the difference. And you were literally walking, you know, people just stop, take pictures, holding up the traffic. You'll get a lot of that. They just stop in the middle of nowhere and uh, take their picture because they don't care. But tourists are tourists, right? This here was uh, Mindy's mom's favorite shop. Remember Mindy's mom told me to get some of these uh, uh, a couple years ago. This is the shop right here, Mindy's mom. We did that early in the morning on a, a Sakusa when it first opened. Again, more souvenir shops. I'm going to show you my favorite candy store. I was actually just here yesterday. Let's see all the delicious snacks you can get along the way here. <laughs> Ice cream. You know, you know, I used to always say like, don't shop here, but there might be something, so. Yeah. We can get out of here real quickly. We're almost at an hour. I want to keep it uh, real close to an hour. I apologize if the transmission is bad, but uh, again, we are live in thousands of people. So as you come up here, you'll, you'll pass by this little area here. Remember Zoro, Yoro Zuya? And uh, it's, just, it's just too busy, guys. But my favorite candy store is kind of over in this area, right in here. Uh, you'll get some good deals. I gotta get out of here. I gotta come down the other way. God.
if you guys can hear me, is um, the number one Asakusa Menchikatsu. Hey, uh, Jake. place here right over here the Menchikatsu place but they do have uh, a few uh, this is kind of like almost snack alley now there's always gonna be a lineup not too many people right now but as we are walking down there's just tourists everywhere people love it good for Japan good for tourism good for the economy hopefully you know everybody's coming the, uh, the Japanese yen is, is weak, so a lot of Americans are going to be here, um, you know, getting your, your, uh, <coughs> your vacation package is cheaper than usual, I guess you could say. And, all right, we didn't lose too many people because of the buffering, I'm sure, but you got udon places, you got all kinds of different places here along the way here. Well, up on the left here would be Orange Street, which is uh, where they kind of like the, the Walk of Fame. People are getting their picture taken over there. <laughs> Map of Asakusa. And then it gets a little bit uh, less crowded in this area here. Because it is not Nakamise Dori, it's not Sensoji Temple. It's just different. So this here is Orange Street. I'm not going to spend too much time on here. I'm going to uh, make a roundabout. Um, Hoppy Alley is just down there. I'm going to. I'm taking a certain path here, ladies and gentlemen. I'll oh, check this guy out. If your legs move, why are you in a wheelchair? <laughs> Again, you know, California has the, uh, the stars. We have the hands. The hands. The hands. Lots of hands. Hands are everywhere. Riksha. And Fang is just up here, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. He never left Japan. He just happens to be sitting on top of the uh, post box here. <laughs> you got a fresh orange juice store here. You got some gashapon there. You can dress up in kimonos. All in this area here as we turn around. Everywhere. You got to explore all the back streets of Asakusa. There are so many streets here. I know Leone, uh, one of my moderators, uh, we met here years upon years ago. Uh, we know some of the back streets, we know some of the cool places to go along. It's absolutely amazing. Not only do you have Nakamise Dori, but you have the covered shopping area that runs this way. And I'll just give you a bit of a peek as we go right, not left, Ramsey Silent. And if you follow this down, as far as you can go, maybe I can in. But if you look at the end end of there, you'll see a red little awning sign. That is a Sakusa station on the uh, Ginza line and uh, part of the Tobu line. Um, so you walk down, you can see how far it really is. A lot of amazing shopping, uh, even on here, even on the back streets, you know, one or two blocks on each side. But my path today has to uh, take me into this area over here. So, you know, you can see how busy Asakusa gets early in the morning. Taiyaki. It's, this place is expensive, but it is pretty good. Um, they do get a lot of tourists here. Yesterday, I was walking, uh, doing a bit of shopping, and there was literally 50 people in line here yesterday. I, you know, call me weird people. I absolutely love these chairs. You are looking left because this is cool. Stuff. <laughs> Hi. Yes, I am. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> so 
So you can see here, got the sweet potato products inside here, which yum. <laughs> the lady in the beige kind of coat there was uh, asking me. Again, you have more snack stores along the way here. Actually, I got to look at uh, some chocolate because I'm looking for some chocolate that I can eat. But yeah, 100 grams at 542 calories is way too much. Oh, see, I used to eat like a box of these at, at one time. A box of these. And uh, what are we looking at here? 100 grams is 590 calories. So 100 grams is 600 calories. And you got 250, so 1500 calories per box. My God. See, this is what diabetes uh, and um, you know, yada, yada, yada has done to me. This is how cheap though. Matcha Kit Kats, a bag of uh, 10, 268 yen. Or you got this one over here, a little bit of a different one. When I was in Las Vegas in D I could see, I could see the cats. Hey, Elise in Alabama, how are you? Uh, the Matcha Kit Kats for $13. $13. And I get them for like two bucks American here. And sometimes this is uh, D. Kelly, kind of a rip off store, but you know what? So, hey, if you want to use some of the luggage, um, it might be worth it. They got some handbags. I have no idea why my pants are wet. <laughs> I hope I didn't shit my pants. <laughs> oh, the pickles, we got the pickled uh, cucumber. This is a great store to get uh, pickled vegetables and things like that. Not umeboshi like that though. Kimono rental right here. I'm not sure about this one, but it says just go. You can wear the yukata you bought for free. Huh. Shoe stores. There's uh, all three of them right here. These shoe stores here, this is a uh, universe uh, shoe store one and two. And three over here. I think that one is the ladies one. Pretty good shoe store if you have a smaller foot. No pooping zone? Okay. <laughs> and then you got another gashapon here, which is pretty cool. Now, I've never been into gashapon, but sometimes, you know, people ask me to find something. Oh, I wish I could have Cadbury eggs. Oh, I so want Cadbury eggs. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go over to uh, Roku Dori, Roku Broadway, I guess you could call it and uh, give you a quick tour around here, ladies and gentlemen. Mexico, it's a seafood restaurant. The coffee shop up here is awesome, but you know what I'm gonna do, guys? There's a lady that lives over here, and she says, no signs, no cameras. Like, who wants to do it? So I'm gonna do it, you ready? <laughs> I'm so bad. But you'll see up here, right here, this lady has like no photography and yada, yada, yada. As people are walking, how could you not, like... I'll show you, watch. See the sign on top of the bamboo? And she's got it in, like, different languages. <laughs> the reason I've come down here is the, uh, the matcha store here. This just opened up, I think, what, about a year and a half ago, I said? Um, Again, in the back streets, it's really hard to uh, find these good little places. And that is always what I like to show you guys. You're encourageable. <laughs> hey, real life stuff, how are you? I'll show you in a second here. So coming down here, that is the start of uh, Hoppy Alley. All the little izakayas, I've shown you that, guys that before. Actually, you know, what's funny is um, I was talking with Shinichi the other day. This is the ledge right here, ladies and gentlemen, where I got Shinichi really drunk. We were pounding back uh, shots of alcohol, and then I left him drunk in Asakusa five years ago. Oops. That's the alley. That's the memory. Tell her you can't read. 
Royce in Japan is the best. Uh, it's okay. Now this restaurant here, look at the lineup and the people are waiting. This is an institution of food. Um, this is uh, Yoshikami, uh, a great restaurant here. You can see it, everybody is waiting. So they're lined up from here all the way down and coming back up on the other side. Just to eat at a restaurant that opens up at 11.30. Absolutely insane, people. Hey, Jim and Harriet, how are you? Thank you for your picture. <coughs> and now we're coming out into one of my favorite, again, I always say my favorite, but um, you know, certain parts of Asakusa are my favorite. And this is that Rocks department store that I showed you earlier in the, in the video. Um, you do have some great shopping up there. You got Maccas up there. This is all part of, uh, this is Roku Broadway. This is where all the food trucks are usually set up on the weekends. Don Quixote is over there. Just to give you an idea, um, the street that we were walking at the beginning was over that way as we walked down towards that way there. And again, the further you get out from the main area um, of Nakamise Dori Senshoji Temple, the less people that you're actually going to see. And there it is, Don Quixote, ladies and gentlemen. Dong, 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 donkey, Don Quixote. I'm not gonna get into it. And that'll lead me up into uh, the, the last street. This is Comedy Alley. Some great restaurants are down in this area. Some good shops. It's absolutely awesome. And you got the, uh, the American ribs and steak right up there. I've shown that in the past before, so. Uh, oof, Jesus Christ. The little guy scared me. I thought it was real. Oh, my God. Let me turn the uh, camera around, camera around. There we go. Hey, construction cronies, how are you? So let me uh, lower my mask here. I need a, a bit of coffee here. I don't know why my ass is so wet. It's weird. I'm not leaking, so. <coughs> uh, Roseanne Ash, how are you? Sorry if I haven't said hi to you, and if you're new to the channel, you subscribe. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really do. I'm getting emails. Uh, thanks for putting that ear worm back into my ear. Thank you for the warm welcome. Now the pants are filled. <laughs> oh, thank you. Did you get a picture of Yuki? Yes, I did. Actually, Jim, I'm going to show you your picture, Jim, of you and Yuki. Uh, I saw the actual other picture of Yuki. Um, too. So thank you for that. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, Jim and Harry are Costa's World of Music Memories. Um, they have an amazing little puppy, Yuki. Love her. And I can't wait for Moko and Chibi to meet up with them also. So, ah, feels so much better. Um, I just want you guys to know, um, just real quickly updates. If you go over my donor box uh, and you check on the updates page, uh, I did um, post an update on the financial costs of round one. Basically it came out to 975,000 uh, and two yen or something like that or something like that. Uh, basically $9,750 so thank you guys. Uh, we raised enough for the round one um, now we're looking at raising uh, money for round two, round three, round four. Uh, I'm looking at 50,000 American dollars or an equivalent to about 75,000 uh, dollars in Japanese money uh, throughout this whole immunotherapy and uh, stuff. So thank you guys. Every little bit helps and I really appreciate it. Um, thank you to the donors um, for the Emoji Club. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm still, I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna have to try again. Um, once I do though, uh, we are in, uh, donating all channel membership uh, proceeds to uh, the Cancer Institute Hospital of JFCR where I'm actually getting treatment done. Um, and uh, I, want to be on, I want to be on their donor wall so we can see Tokyo Drew community. I think that would be pretty freaking awesome, wouldn't you? Um, again, yeah, I have not shaved. This has all fallen out. Okay, I shaved a little bit to get it smooth. I haven't lost my eyebrows much. Lost a little bit. Um, 
but again, it, it's actually kind of cool. I hate to say it because of chemo, but I'm not sure. I don't have to shave my head with razors and uh, shaving cream. I don't have to shave my face. I look like a little baby, baby. Okay, never mind. I have no idea what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, those are kind of what's going on, guys. <clears throat> kind of sucks, but I am dealing with it the best that I can. Um, PS5 one that's a weird name but thank you for being here uh, Pearl told me to subscribe when you were visiting her new home well thank you I uh, she made the video how many of you give me a thumbs up watch Pearl's video or Oriental Pearl Alyssa um, she did her house tour which is pretty cool she did like mixed it with uh, the, the old place in Weno to the new place not telling you where um, and then uh, she invited me over and I was just amazed the balcony upstairs to the glass door and, and section uh, for their den office area that they showed. Um, and then she promoted the channel, she promoted the donor box, and I really, I really am grateful for her kindness. Um, you know, she really is trying to help me out, and uh, so, and a lot of you are too, so thank you. But uh, we've got a lot of new subscribers. I hope you like uh, what I do for live streaming and stuff. Uh, gifted five memberships. Thank you, Construction Cronies, appreciate it. Um, also, if you don't know, um, by all means, I'm still working on it, but it's not my top priority right now. But uh, I do have my second channel, Tokyo Drew Travels, with my vlogging channel. I think I got like six videos right now, maybe 630 subscribers. By all means, please go over, check it out. <coughs> <coughs> Subscribe, if you don't mind. Um, God, this guy is freaking me out, man. Like, like no, seriously, seriously, dude. He's watching me live stream now. Who put you there? Hmm. But yeah, go check it out. Um, I want to get back into vlogging more. Okay, I can't get rid of the picture now. That was weird. Um, but again, just thank you to everybody, you know, that's come together and uh, helped me out. Um, I really appreciate it. Black Tango, good morning. Michael Selby, I already said hi to you. I can't find the donor page. Can one of the mods link it, please? Um, Nightbot just posted the link right there, Roseanne. Uh, unfortunately, the, the one I think detriment is a lot of people don't have PayPal. Uh, go get PayPal. Um, that's the only way DonorBox works, so that's, they can't use like the credit card, or I don't know, there's problems. But if you can, hey, that's great, right? Um, or you can like, you know, leave super thanks on comments on these videos too. I know somebody, I uh, forget who, uh, did that yesterday, so appreciate it. Thank you, Ramsey Silent. I'm not sure if I wanna see that because um, I don't like healthy Cadbury eggs. <laughs> Catalpa, if he starts following at the mouth, run, fo oh, foaming at the mouth, run, yeah, pretty much, eh? Rachel B, good morning. Hi, brand new subscriber here. Best to you, thank you, appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm overwhelmed. Like, over 1,300 subscribers. I don't know what I'm at now, 10,300 or something. Like, wow, 1,300 people um, graciously give this channel a chance. So, if you do like live streaming, uh, unedited, just, uh, is it a squirrel or a chipmunk? It's this freaking thing right here. Hmm. Um, no, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have him look that way. He's looking at the crowd now. See? <laughs> now he's over there looking at the at the traffic. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I just want to say thank you. I really do. You know how grateful I am. You know how humbled I really am. See, how are you, brother? Um, I know I know a lot of you send me emails. Hey Keza, I showed the I showed the Chuhai. 22 bucks for a chew high, my God. Um, how are you though? Uh, Rachel B, thank you so much. Um, no, thank you guys. You know, really, it's, it, it's, I got hit over the head eight weeks ago. Stage four lung cancer, metastasized. Jesus freaking Christ, you know? Um, I refuse to accept it. I refuse to give up. I'm as positive as I freaking can be yeah, I have a few health problems. Um, hey, sugar and I. Um, I'm off work for at least four months right now. 
uh, until the end of uh, June. I have a feeling though I'm going to be extending that more. Um, I can extend up to 18 months, so don't know uh, what's going to be going on with that. But uh, you know what? I, like, oh, the squirrel fell down. Ugh. See, now I got to pick him up. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, just trying my best, guys. Um, so yeah, I'll be entering the hospital. Uh, got the news today, obviously. Uh, I will be entering the hospital tomorrow, so the next time I go live will be from my hospital bed uh, in a couple of days uh, while I'm doing chemo. Um, so maybe today's Wednesday, so maybe Friday. I'll, I gotta go into the hospital tomorrow. I gotta do uh, blood work, x-rays, uh, yada, yada, yada. Get into my room, uh, hang out, welcome back. I even bought all the uh, nurses gifts <coughs> to uh, take to go, uh, yeah, to give to them when I go back, uh, just as a thank you for being nice and uh, communicating with me, uh, different things like that. Um, I got them like a little thing of candy, I got them a dairy milk chocolate bar. Um, okay, head to bad New York night time here. Uh, Roseanne Ash, thank you for being here, I appreciate you, um, and I hope you have a good night. Do you have to do immunotherapy again? Yes. Um, I will be doing, so, Real quickly, um, basically I have three days of chemo. Uh, the first day is about eight hours. Um, it starts off with you know saline, uh, immunotherapy. I've shown you guys this in pre previous uh, things though. Uh, more steroids than the chemo drug, saline and steroids and a chemo drug. Um, so that is on day one. On day two, uh, I don't do immunotherapy, only on day one. Um, and I only, on days two and day three, I only do, hey, NYC, yeah, f I forgot how to say that. How are you? Um, on day two and day three, I do uh, one, two hours of one of the chemos, etoposide, I believe it's called, and then four hours of something, flushing out my kidneys and yada, yada, yada. So, um, yeah, three days of chemo, and then it's 25 days of rest, be careful, yada, yada, yada. And we started all over again on the 28th day. So it's a 28 day cycle. Um, yeah, it's draining. You know, now that I think about it, I've done, you know, 28 days now as of, <coughs> as of tomorrow will be 28 days. It's crazy, man. So yeah, anyways, okay guys, um, I gotta go. Thank you so much, I really appreciate you. And again, check out all my links uh, via Linktree. Um, if you want to help support me, by all means, you know what to do. In the meantime, though, please check out these two videos here. The Patreon link is here if you want to become a part of the TD Crew Asylum family. And a shout out to Juan, our newest Patreon member as of yesterday. And subscribe to Tokyo Drew Travels. Keep it real, keep it raw, straight to yourself, because I always do. Have a great freaking day, everybody. We'll see you soon.